Side missions truly are a blessing to games that we often take for granted. When done correctly, well thought out missions can make a world come to life and offer interesting stories outside of the base campaign. Sometimes though, these side quests tend to get thrown off the rails. Need a face shot! Boom! Squish! Yay! What once may seem like an innocent endeavor to help those in need can soon turn into something far more grim. Today, we're going to take a dive into our first volume of side quests that got rather disturbing and outright eerie. This will be a continuous series, so if you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. With that being said, let's take a look at some disturbing side quests in video games. It must not come to such surprise that an entry from the Red Dead franchise found its way on our list. Both games are notorious for filling their worlds with interesting and engaging stories. Even though many of you may love the side missions in these games, it's very easy to have missed this quest. Flowers for a Lady is the first introduced stranger side quest in the game. We find a man looking for flowers to give to his wife Annabelle for their anniversary. He explains how his wife loves them, but she's getting too old to get up and about. We generously offer to help get a beautiful bouquet of flowers and we're off on our quest. So why is this quest usually missed? Well in a game filled with mystery and action, who wants to start their adventure traveling the world looking for a couple flowers? Many skip it, but those who put in the effort to help this love truck husband will be greeted to a disturbing twist. Here's your flowers, Billy. Well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a minute. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. Annabelle has unfortunately passed and has been rotting away for quite some time. Her poor husband has obviously gone insane and continues to pretend his wife is still here with him. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. After this event, you can return to Annabelle and, if bumped into, will cause her head to fall straight off. Half-destroyed towns aren't uncommon in Fallout. When dealing with the post-apocalypse, small towns like Andale tend to stay under the radar. The quest is unmarked, so it's quite easy to just walk by the town entirely. But those who take the time to explore this land and talk with its few residents will soon discover that something feels... off. Most of the residents are a bit too friendly, with many offering numerous amounts of support and help. Eventually, you come across a child that mentions that people don't stay long, and there aren't much children around. Old Man Harris even goes as far as to tell you to get out, and hints at some darker secret located in the sheds and basement. Well, picking the shed lock catches you all up to speed. With a skeleton hanging by the roof, and fridges stocked with strange meat, it becomes clear that Andale is a town of cannibals. Once you leave the shed, you are immediately confronted by the town folk. There are multiple ways to either talk yourself out of this situation, or you can resort to killing them all. Either way, you will have the option to take a look at the basement. There you will find a collection of body parts and limbs of past victims who fell at the hands of Andale. It's very gruesome, with some bodies being fresh, and others just skeletons locked in cages. Many people forget or really know nothing about GTA 2. GTA primarily reached popularity after San Andreas, so it's no surprise that most skipped this top-down adventure. 
Popular or not, it's a GTA game, so those playing come in expecting some strange missions. Well, your appetite would be appeased from the mission Hot Dog Homicide. Let's just hope it's not from the hot dogs. This mission directs you to steal a bus and kidnap civilians. A deal has been made where if you supply the meat, a meat processing plant can turn that into hot dogs for troops. I think you can connect the dots here. We hijack a bus full of civilians and bring them to the meat processing plant, where we force them onto a conveyor belt to be ground and shredded into hot dogs. <laughs> While it's aimed to be comedic, we can hear the screams and pleas of the victims as they get pulled through the conveyor belt slowly. Just have to take matters into my own hands. The only way now. Jumping into our next side quest, let's dive into the world of Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Filled with unique and intriguing NPCs, players can come across Glarther, a man who can't help but feel a little paranoid. We can't talk here. Too public. He is convinced that someone is spying on him and the town is out to get him. Players can attempt to convince him nothing is amiss. But those who choose to go along with the worry will convince Glarther to take matters into his own hands. Glarther will grab his axe and slowly make his way down the town on a killing spree, slaughtering multiple unarmed and innocent townsfolk. You can even explore his house and find many notes documenting his fear and what the townspeople were doing throughout the day. During a playthrough of Dying Light, players can come across an almost mute and disturbed child named Tom, who found shelter with a man who asked you to find clues as to what happened to his family. The mission encompasses almost no combat or threat, with the majority simply being searching an abandoned building and listening to past voice recordings from the boy. Detective Julie and his assistant begin their search for the missing person of Dolma Street. We hear him and someone named Mike playing detectives with their current mission being a missing persons case. They mention a strange man lives in the building, but soon finds that Mike runs off in search for clues. Tom goes after Mike and mentions that he followed his lead to the basement. Unfortunately, the basement door is unlocked with a bloody handprint on the surface. The keys are only a few floors up, so upon grabbing them and unlocking the door, we are treated to something truly dark and disturbing. Mike! Mike! A mutilated and chopped up dog on the table, with the man decomposed on the ground. Mike was the boy's dog, and the missing person they were trying to find was Tom's father. What's worse is soon after entering the room, an enraged cannibal will come out of the neighboring closet. He's easily killable, but now we know the grim fate that this boy's father and dog suffered. I hope you enjoyed. What side quests did you find disturbing? Leave them in the comments and they might make an appearance in my next volume. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like as it helps YouTube recommend my content to new people. If you want to see more creepy and disturbing things in video games, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you so much and I hope you all have a wonderful day.